Hi, I'm Tyson Franklin and welcome to this week's video. Today I want to talk about when should you let go of a high performer? And you might be thinking, why would I let go of someone who's performing at a high level in my business, who is generating a lot of income, creating a lot of work? So I'm going to touch on that. But the reason I've brought this up is over the weekend, they had UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship 304 in Manchester in England. And Dana White, who's the president of the UFC, now this doesn't matter whether you follow the UFC or not, but there was one particular fighter who was undefeated. He's had a winning streak for a very long period of time. I think as a professional, he might be 13 and zero. He's had a great career. However, what I've heard behind the scenes, they've mentioned that he also creates a lot of work for the UFC. He creates a, a, a lot of headaches. There's increased security that's always needed around him because he's one of those fighters that just creates a ruckus between him and whoever he's going to fight against. So therefore, the whole UFC is on high alert every time that this person was going to fight. And I heard that this was part of the reason why Dana White, the president, let him go because he just felt he was too much trouble. And he did make a comment that he hopes that this person goes to another organization and he's probably going to be one of the best fighters that's ever going to turn up at that organization. So he was an extreme high performer, probably also generated a lot of income for the UFC. But because of all the work that was also created for everybody else, they made the decision to let him go. So in your business, just because somebody is a high performer, just because somebody makes a lot of money for your business doesn't mean that you should keep them. And I know sometimes it's a really hard decision to make, but you've got to also look at the rest of your team and how everybody else is being affected. And you as a business owner, are you having to do a lot of work behind the scenes, putting out fires just so this person doesn't upset the rest of your team? Time is money. So how much extra time are you spending behind the scenes with your other team members because this person or just because this person actually makes a lot of money and it could be things like you might have systems in place that they're not following they might make up their own and realize if they're not following how things should be run in your business not only does it affect you it affects the whole team culture of your business and long term a high performer who is doing their own thing not listening to you is going to affect team morale. And long term, you may have other team members who are fantastic, may not be performing at the same level, but are still performing very well. They may leave and go somewhere else because they can't handle or they don't want to have to put up with all the other problems that that person's causing. And I've seen this happen time and time again where a podiatry business owner will hang on to someone way longer than they should purely because they're making them a lot of money. So just think about that. If you've got someone in your team who is not following the rules, is not following all the systems, isn't a team player, then really think about it. Should you be hanging on to them or would it be better for your business to actually let them go? And just realize, yes, they are bringing in a lot of money, but also are they causing a lot of other problems? I think it is really important. And I think your team comes first and you come first before anybody else that actually works for you. And like Dana White did, he let someone go who was an undefeated fighter who was ranked quite highly and he's let them go purely because of all the extra work that they're creating. He's weighed up. Is it really worth it? I tell you right now, if you let a high performer go, normally you'll find your rest of your team will become much happier and everyone overall will probably start to perform a, a lot better. If you ever have any questions about any of my videos, please send me an email, tf at tysonfranklin.com. Don't forget to check out the Podiatry Legends podcast. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Let people know that you enjoyed it. And I'd love your comments and feedback. Okay, that's it for me this week. Hope you got something from that. And I'll talk to you again next week. Bye.